what I'm going to be doing is I ended up going to Menards and I'm sure this is going to work. I've done things like this before and made screens out of this. I bought what is called top rail posts um, for uh, fencing. And as you can see, if you look really close here, um, you can see the one end is actually a little narrower so you can put that inside the other end. Now these end up being 10 and a half feet, 10 foot 6 inches, 10 foot 5 inches, something, something like that. So what I'm going to do is cut, I'm going to cut these in half and then stick the one in the, in the other. And the reason I'm going to do that is to cut them down to 5 feet so they can be portable. Um, that way I can fit them inside my car, my vehicle, whatever. Uh, the only thing that's a bummer is I don't have a case for them, so the easiest thing to do would be to buy some sort of duffel bag that's approximately five foot long, uh, maybe even uh, a bag that you would get for your typical tripod stands here. That's you know, a little bit shorter than what I would probably need, but anyway, you could probably find one. So that's what I'm going to do, and I'm going to make them 10 foot by 10 foot. Uh, now, ideally, uh, with the screen being low to the ground, and then, of course, your, your seating height from from about sitting level um, what you're gonna view if you're sitting down from this height you're gonna need the screen to be at least four feet off the ground more than likely so I'm gonna end up with about a six foot by ten foot viewing area um, and the reality is I'm probably gonna make it five and a half feet you're gonna want to be up a little bit so that you can get above people's heads so you can see the screen I'm going to show you guys the first one here. As you can see, it's going to go all the way up. But here are the legs. Now, as you'll see, I've got the front ones even, or the front of the legs even, and then the back goes back there. Those are about five feet long. And then this bar going down here, um, as you can see, is uh, that's about five feet long as well, too. Um, and then as I was telling you from the front, I've got those braces too on the, the corners as you'll see there. And then here's the, the framework right there. And then there's the other ones. So, I'm uh, just trying to move this thing around a little bit get it kind of put in place sort of now to display a screen this size you need a fairly long throw so my projectors are gonna have to go back there a ways but this is about about where it will sit and then as you can see when we sit down um, you know, here's my, my sight. It's, it's about, about even with that, that bar, um, the bottom bar there. And, uh, wow, that's going to be a big screen. I'll tell you what, <laughs> when that gets done, it's going to be huge. This is, uh, the screen from far away so far. I'd say I'm about, oh, I don't know, 40 feet away or so. So anyway, now if I'm sitting back further away, um, you know, this is my line of sight. As you can see, the, the bottom is just coming up to the edge of the tables, which would mean that seeing over someone's head is going to actually hit, um, if I can point it out straight, just over that bar. So we're probably not going to see anything down here, but from about here up, you should see some. So. If you look where that wall is, about there, maybe a little higher, where that where that border on that wall is, right, right here. Um, that's probably where we're gonna see. I don't know. We'll see. 
So that's the first one. I'm actually gonna shut the recorder off for now um, while I build the next one because it's gonna be the same process. And then I'll show you the finished product later on.